Okay, let's go through the installation. I already have Docker desktop installed. I have also downloaded the files from the newsletter. So right now, the next step is executing the commands. So the first one is Docker Compose down. This is unnecessary, but I included it just in case uh, you want to rebuild the image. The next one is Docker Compose that will build a container. So the next step is executing the last command to run this. Uh, great. And right now, when I, if I go to the local host, I should see NAN. Uh, great. So let's continue with the installation. Let's continue with the installation. This is just a temporarily instance, so I will not focus on it too much. And it will send me a free license key. Okay, it arrived. So all I need to do is to click this button. And right now I have fully installed NAN. The next step is to go to configuration and install MCP community node. We can find it here. So I will show you how to do it. But I will include the name in the newsletter. Uh, so it's this one. So all we need to do is just to type the package name, confirm that we understand the risk, and install. Okay, and this is the complete installation. So just to demonstrate, I will present building NAN identity workflows separately. Um, yeah, but just to... Okay, let's refresh the page. Okay. And on the chat message, we will run an agent that can use tools. And what we want to see is that here we have MCP client tool. And what it means that inside this node, we can call MCP servers and those can be remote MCP servers or local MCP servers. In case of local MCP servers, uh, both Node.js and UV are supported. And by default, UV servers are not supported by the NAN community edition. So this is something that we added uh, only in this specific configuration.